This kind of thing just needs to stop. Like it needs to stop happening. I don't want to see it anymore. I feel so bad for the prides. I'm begging you ladies out there. Don't marry a man like this. Do not marry a man that does not respect your boundaries, please. Like if he doesn't respect your wish to not smash wedding cake in your face on your wedding day after you have your makeup done, your hair done, your dress on, then he's not the man for you. Don't do it, babes. Run, divorce, babes, annulment, babes. Hi guys, it's Samantha Lux. Welcome back to my channel. Now, can somebody please tell me where the F, yes, I said F because it's five seconds into the video. I'm not gonna say the F word yet. We'll get there. But can somebody please tell me where the F straight men get the effing audacity? Cause like, listen, no shade. I myself am a straight transgender woman. So I personally date straight men. I know, please pray for me. It's so sad. It's really like so unfortunate, but no shade. I love straight men as much as the next straight woman, okay? But that being said, they have lost their effing minds. Like literally, I don't know if there's such a thing as like wedding fever, you know, like baby fever, when people get like baby fever and they, and they wanna have a baby, whatever. But I don't know if there's such a thing as a wedding fever. If there is, I definitely don't have it, but my TikTok for you page thinks that I do because I keep getting so many TikToks of weddings and brides and you know, people walking down the aisle and like cute little things. It's cute, I love it, you know, shout out to them. Congratulations. Okay. I'm just kidding. Shout out to them, you know? But every now and then when one of these wedding TikToks comes up, there is a straight man doing some crazy things that I'm just like, you just sit down at your table? Like, I know you have a name plaque out there at a table somewhere, go find it and sit next to it. Like, this kind of thing just needs to stop. Like, it needs to stop happening. I don't want to see it anymore. I feel so bad for the prides. You know, it's never a gay man either because the gay men always bring nice style. They always smell good. They always have great party food. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They don't have any of the party girls. But they're definitely not going around smashing cake and their future wives, well, obviously not their future wives, but they're not going around smashing cake in anybody's face, okay? And that's more than you can say about the straight men in today's videos because it's either groomsmen or like some random straight man at the wedding or even the groom himself sometimes. They're doing too much. And I'm like, girl, why are you marrying him? First of all, walk out. Like, wedding's canceled, wedding's over. Get an Uber, time to go. I'm out of here. <laughs> In today's video, I want to show you guys some of my favorite cringy straight men ruining weddings TikToks. That was a, a very long description of the videos that we're going to be watching today. But yes, that's what we're going to be watching because my channel, Samantha Lex, is all about the girls and the gays. And if there's one thing I'm going to do with this cringy men ruining weddings TikTok content is I'm going to share it with you girls and you gays to make sure that you don't make the same mistake as the women in these videos. Okay? I post new videos every single week here on my channel. So if you guys are not yet subscribed, make sure to do that right now. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I also just started a new YouTube channel for all my gaming content. It's Samantha Lux Games or Samantha Lux 666 here on YouTube. So if you like gaming content, make sure to check that out. Are you done? By the way, are you done subscribing? Thank you so much. Make sure to follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok to keep us up to date with me as possible. And like I said, I have a Twitch channel. So if you guys like gaming, you can follow me over there as well. But yeah, with no further ado, ladies, grab your divorce papers because you're gonna need them after this video. I promise you. <laughs> Okay, so I have a bunch of TikToks saved. I have like 20. There's no shortage of videos of men ruining weddings because, you know, men just can't help themselves. They ruin everything. Just kidding. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. No, I'm not. Side! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the first one I think I wanna watch today is the one that inspired today's video because this one has gone super viral and I don't know, that's it. It's gone super viral, let's start with this one. Okay, so before we play it, beautiful wedding. Beautiful blue lights, the flower arch behind them. It says money, we got money, we put budget into this wedding. So let's see this beautiful cake cutting ceremony, shall we? I'm sure that it won't go wrong at all, right? <laughs> Now watch this reaction. First of all, it started out so nice. Like they were like, yay. And then he hit the like, little board in between the cake. Sorry, I didn't know there's boards in between the layers of cake. Dumb. I think his masculinity, I think his strength got a little bit threatened because he couldn't cut a cake. And so he put his whole freaking force into it. Smashes the cake, cake everywhere, sword. I mean, they're literally using a sword. So it's like, why are they using a sword? I don't know why, but fully slice this cake up. Like he is this woman's knight in shining armor and the cake is freaking Shrek or something. I don't know. And the fact that he was so proud of himself too, like he did it. And then he, you can tell he was like a little like, yeah, I, I freaking dominated that cake, bro. And then you can hear the screams of the audience. like. What the f What are you doing? That cake cost $5,000. And then he's like, oh. Uh, uh, let me just get my beer because I'm just drunk. That's why. I'm not crazy. I'm just drunk. <laughs> no, sir. You're crazy and drunk. The way that the wife, or like the soon to be wife, maybe not anymore, but the bride, the way the bride looks at him like, are you joking? I wanted some of that. Like, isn't this supposed to be a happy moment? Why are you so mad? I swear to God, man had an allergic reaction to a cake a long time ago and he just got triggered or something. I thought he was 
gonna slice this bride's freaking leg off. Snatches the cake. He said, I've been waiting all day for this freaking cake. Give it to me! Now! Oh my god. Okay, well, firstly, I will say, I think this one might have been an arranged marriage, which is problematic in itself. And I mean, that's just my opinion. We don't have to talk about that. I know it's a very culturally significant thing, so we won't have to talk about it. But I do think that that might play a part into why this man is so angry at his wedding. Like, babe, calm down. It's cake. It's literally champagne. Why are you freaking out? Why are you smashing bottles? Stop it. Get some help. Especially with the kids literally three feet away from you. Like, you definitely got a shard of glass in that little boy's forehead. You will be getting billed for the stitches. Personally, I think that if you're gonna get married to a man like this, maybe part of your wedding gift package, like in your little, you know how like when you're having a baby, you write like a little list of things that you want for your baby, you know what I mean? And then people bring that as a gift to your wedding or to your baby shower or whatever. I think that the first thing you should write on your wedding wish list is anger management classes for this husband. Honestly, not even just this husband, but like every husband that we're gonna see in this video, they need anger management. And not the kind from that movie with Adam Sandler. Okay. Good job. Uh -oh, why you tripping? No hate. Nope. Instant divorce. First of all, that cake, again, giving money, giving rich, giving bougie. You're gonna throw it at me? Your beautiful soon-to-be wife that also spent thousands of dollars on hair, makeup, and dress, you're gonna throw that at my face? I'll stab you. I'm just kidding, that was just a joke. But for real, I'll kill you. Like, unless you have a pre-written, signed, bank-sealed document saying that you have my permission, my explicit permission to throw something at my face at my wedding, on my wedding day, don't dare. Uh-uh. Something is in the, the men's water. I don't know. What are men drinking that is making them think that this is okay? The lack of respect, the lack of acknowledgement of people's boundaries is astonishing to me. I mean, it just comes down to respect. So little respect for somebody that they're about to marry that they would ruin this day that is like supposed to be this magical, beautiful moment for their soon to be wife. Like every girl dreams of this moment. Every girl dreams of getting married. Well, not every girl, duh. But like most girls, a lot of girls dream of this beautiful wedding and how dare you, sir? Because you want to joke about it with your little boyfriends after the fact. Your boyfriend don't care sir and i hope that same boyfriend is gonna let you sleep on their couch because you are not sleeping in my house after that <laughs> see now that's the only acceptable form of like cake in the face it's like maybe a little dupe on the nose like a little or like a little like that's it if you mess up my lipstick if you mess up my contour if you mess up my eyelashes my eyeliner anything important on my face that i can't quickly touch up you're done and also i feel like it's different when the girl does it to the boy because the boy's not wearing makeup he can just go like this and it's done but for a girl when she gets cake smashed in her face she's got to redo her whole face that could have taken hours of work that could have taken thousands of dollars to do i just don't understand like what goes through men's minds or like why nothing is going through their minds in this moment because they really need to get it together i mean we didn't even watch what he did i don't even know what he's done yet but i'm just so amped up from the last one let's see what this guy does though. Oh my god, yes. It's too much. She does a little tiny dupe on his nose and he takes his whole plate of cake, rubs it in her face. Ooh, it's just making me so mad right now. I don't even know these people, but I'm furious. I'm fuming for this girl. <laughs> Oh my god, I actually want to cry for this girl. This one is actually like much worse than the other ones. It's so sad. You can tell she is the type of girl that's like, don't mess up my makeup, don't mess up my hair. Everything has to be perfect. She's like me, you know what I mean? She's like a perfectionist with her look. You can tell. Like that bun alone on her head took at least 45 minutes. It took two cans of hairspray, 45 minutes of work, and like 25 bobby pins to secure that hair. And that's that's the hair alone. That cake is a good 20 stags high. You know that costs money. Those aren't cheap. Even the dress is like so bougie. She has a headpiece on. She's, she spent money. I don't even want to make that that big of a deal. Like, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on your wedding to, like, deserve the respect of not having cake smashed in your face by your future husband. But it just makes it a little bit worse for me, you know? She is fighting him with all of her strength to not do it, and he just overpowers her. That is something that pisses me off so much about men, is that they will sometimes use their physical strength over girls. They literally overpower them. They over muscle them but it's not a thing but you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> this girl is trying so hard to get him to not do it but she's just not strong enough to stop him he should know that she's trying to stop him and respect that done divorce divorce divorce, babes. Babes. divorce. divorce. what's the ab about annulment babes <laughs> Oh 
my God. Okay, so this one, she was like laughing at the end. So like, I mean, no, I'm not even gonna say that she was laughing, so it's fine because honestly, in that moment, I would probably laugh too just because I don't want to make it like an awkward moment. Like, you know what I mean? It's still like a wedding. I don't want the people there to think that I'm like pissed. Like, I'm just gonna, you know, it's gonna be fine. But she verbally skirt like yells, no, do not do that. And he still does it. Divorce. Divorce, babe. No means no. Also, the strength that he put into that. He broke her nose. This is not a boxing match. This is not your homeboy. This is your future wife. He said, happy wedding day, babe. Have a black eye. I love you so much. <laughs> And she's like, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm warning you. Don't do it. He overpowers her, uses his muscle, his testosterone jacked freaking body to overpower his little tiny wife, smash cake in her face after she spent money getting her makeup done, getting her hair done, getting her outfit, everything like that. Smashes it in her face after she said, don't do it. But imagine how tired we are. My favorite part of this video is she walked away. She got visibly pissed and walked away. That's what I would do. I'm out, girl. Bye. Actually, I just said that I wouldn't make a scene, but I would make a scene if I were brave enough. She did what every woman wishes they would do if this happened to them. It's so sad because a lot of times women probably do want to leave. They're probably pissed in that moment, but they have to keep it to themselves. They have to act cool because if they freak out, they're, they're a crazy bride and they're bridezilla because they didn't want to get cake smashed in their face. Like, meh, 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 how dare you? Not her though. She said, I told you don't do that. Now I'm leaving. She's gold. She's everything. This guy for sure is not his best friend. He's one of these drunks that just shows up to weddings thinking he's the life of the party and just ruins it. Oh, by the way, the groom definitely knocked him out at the end of the video. Oh, if the way you can see the groom like winding up like, oh, I'm gonna kill. As he should, as he should. You know, at least it wasn't the groom this time because those ones just make me extra mad. At least it was just some random drunk man. But also who invited him? Who invited him? Where's security? Get this man up and out immediately before he gets stabbed by this wedding cake cutter. I'm just kidding, I'm very violent today. Really fun story, my sister might be watching this, so if she has a Hi, sister. sister. Oh, James Charles there. Oh, sorry. So at my sister's wedding, there was a man like this. There was a drunk friend that was just being crazy. She was like about to walk down the aisle and he was like standing up, like walking around, going up and talking to her. She's like, can you sit the fuck down? You're not supposed to be here right now. You're not supposed to be looking at me. Go get your get in your seat, sir. Pretty sure someone hit him at the end of the night too, but he deserved it, so it's fine. I'm just kidding, violence is never the answer sir, unless you smash cake in my face or something like that. I still can't believe my husband did this at our wedding. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> this woman's marrying a grown, a grown up iPad kid, literally. <laughs> like can't get off his phone for more than five minutes, but not even, it's, it's worse than that though, let's be real. Sir, that's a football game. That's ESPN, sir. You're getting married right now. You don't see that you're at the, the literal head table. Everybody can see you watching football right now. You don't see the annoying look on your wife's face, sir, for the Patriots girl for the freaking Jets the Giants. I don't know are those football teams. I think they are sportsmen are just scary Like babe, it's on Hulu watch it when you get home watch it tomorrow as a matter of fact Don't watch it at all. You can skip one game. Actually. This is kind of iconic <laughs> I'm just cracking up. I'm cracking myself up imagine she was sitting there and she had her little Grey's Anatomy on her phone <laughs> at the Table she's like, there's a new episode today. And I have to watch she's watching 90 day fiance. That'd be me I love 90 day fiance big ads just right on the Fun table. Football, you can skip. 90 Day Fiance, that, that's a different story. <laughs> that one's kind of fun. <laughs> that one's kind of good. Still though, I would be mad. Don't talk to him. Don't look at my husband as I'm walking down. Actually, was that even the husband? Husbands don't walk down the aisle like that, do they? Husband, do husbands walk down the aisle with the bride? No. Who's that? That is not that girl's father, is it? Even if it is, if it's the father, that's even worse. I don't know what it is with men and their sports, but like, it's weird. It's too far. Also, why are you recording as this girl is walking down the aisle? Don't you know weddings are no phones? There's a no phone policy. I will take that and smash it and throw it in the river and put it under the cake that this bitch just smashed in my face. I'll do it, don't try me. <laughs> I just watched it again. Though his face is so funny. I can't even be mad. He said they lost. <laughs> Quality, quality content. That would have made the wedding for me, to be honest. If I saw that, <laughs> ready to go. Give me some cake and I'm out. Okay, everybody, the last video that we're gonna watch today does not feature any men ruining weddings, thankfully. We've seen enough of that today, but it does give you some advice on what to do if your soon-to-be husband smashes cake in your face when you tell them not to. So pay close attention. I don't know if you'll be able to hear the audio because we'll have to cut it out for copyright reasons, but it says, when he smashed wedding cake on my face and ruined my $1,600 bridal makeup, but actually ended up saving me 50K in divorce fees and half my net worth by showing me how little he respected me 
nice and early so I could qualify for annulment. I left our reception venue without saying a word and filed the paperwork in the Uber home. You ate that. Literally, yes, babe. That's what you do. That's called taking a sign from God and acknowledging it, running with it. Taking it. You said, I seen the light, I've gotten my sign from the Lord, and I am going to listen. As you freaking should. Save yourself money, save yourself drama, get a new husband even faster. I don't know what kind of juice these men are injecting into their veins, but whatever it is, I kind of want some. Because I could use the audacity. I could use a little bit more confidence. No, I couldn't. Let's be real. I'm begging you ladies out there, don't marry a man like this. Do not marry a man that does not respect your boundaries, please. This is like the most simple, simple example of a man that does not respect your boundaries. Like if he doesn't respect your wish to not smash wedding cake in your face on your wedding day after you have your makeup done, your hair done, your dress on, then he's not the man for you. Like, it's not just going to magically get better after you get married. Like, he's likely not going to respect you. Like, it's not going to get better than this, babe. It's not. And if he can do something like that in front of all of your beloved friends and family, then just imagine what he could do behind closed doors. Don't do it, babes. Run. Divorce, babes. Annulment, babes. But okay, you guys, that is it for today's video. I had a lot of fun making this video. I love laughing at dumb men. <laughs> like I said, this channel is for the girls and the gays, am I right? And the, and the straight men that will not smash cake in your face. They can stay too. But I post new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe if you are not already and you would like to be. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. Check out my second YouTube channel. I have so much going on. But yeah, other than that, I think I'm gonna go. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone. I'm gonna get some cake. Let's get some cake, everyone. Let's go.